All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow path. And you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let us turn away from our sins. Let us turn away from our secret sins, any double life, any bad habits, bad routines, or bad attitudes. Let us turn away from all that. Repent from all that. Amen. Let, us, let the Lord straighten us out. Let his word straighten us out. Let us be doers of the word. And let's stay obedient forevermore. Hallelujah. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. And let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. His grace, mercy, favor, love, his outstretched arm, the mighty hand of God, his finger of God, just his word, his only begotten son died for our sins. There's so much to thank the Lord for. Hallelujah. He's done countless of things that we can't even keep track of and beyond it. So let us always stay grateful and thankful of what the Lord has brought us through and what he continues to keep doing because he's just that amazing. He's that faithful. He's that excellent. So we know that we can always trust on the Lord no matter how things are looking right now in the midst of our situations. We walk by faith and not by sight. The just shall live by faith. I look to the hills, and where does my help come from? It comes from the Lord, y'all. So we know that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave us nor forsake us, y'all. So the Lord keeps our, his promises. He protects his people, all right? So we are good day by day. Let's take it one day at a time, amen? Hallelujah, y'all. Welcome, everybody. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. All right, so brothers and sisters in the faith, all ends of the earth, all four corners of the earth. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and always encourage each other in the Lord. Have to comfort one another and pray for one another. Hallelujah. And always walk in that love, unity, and harmony and peace. Amen. Most definitely. Welcome everyone. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth, all kindreds. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All the animals, all the beasts, all the creatures, all the fishes in the sea, all the birds in the air, all the mountains, the plants, the trees. Let all of God's creation praise him. Hallelujah. Amen, people. Praise the Lord. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted or grafted in, and grafted in is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Lord. Sing a new song. Clap our hands. Stomp our feet. Play an instrument. Rejoice. Always rejoice. Let us worship in spirit and truth, and let us serve him with gladness and joy forevermore. Yes, yes, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God, Father, our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He is coming back like a thief in the night. He is coming back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. He is coming back for a people who are spotless, blameless, ready to go. Let us keep our lamps and our oils. Let us be washed by the water through the word. Let us be washed by the water by the word, people. Let us stay diligent. Alert, sober, vigilant, all of that, people. Let's do the Great Commission. Let's do the gospel. Let's do everything. Let's be doers of the word. Amen. And let's help out a lot of people along the way. Okay, we got to win these souls, people. Got to win souls. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get closer to the Lord. Let's get more personal and close with him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statutes, and commandments. And let us obey anything the Most High has told us personally. Obey all of his word. And anything the Lord told you or confirmed to you personally regarding your life, your future, your gifts, your talents, your assignments, your objectives, whatever he called you to do, get it done, people. Honor it. Handle Father's business. Amen. And press forward, people. Press forward. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. I hope that you all had a blessed week, a blessed weekend, blessed Sabbath, everything. All right. I hope that you all are able to be safe and, you know, take it one day at a time in these last days. A lot going on in the in the world, a lot going on probably in your personal life, but we take it one day at a time and we praise the Lord each day. Amen. And we keep seeking the Lord through it all. We keep seeking him with all of our hearts. Amen. So in today's message, I'm just going to do this church note from Jen De Leon. All right. From this church note, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing. And we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. The title of this church note is Don't Miss the Moment. Be careful with who you allow to have access to you. All right. So we would start off this church note with the book of Luke, chapter 2. Verses 45 through 52. All right, so let's go. 
And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, elders, doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou done this to us? Behold, thy father and I have been searching for you, sought for you uh, with sorrow. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Don't you know that I must be about my father's business? I must be in my father's house. And when they understood not what he was saying, and they understood not the saying which he spoke unto them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Amen. Hallelujah. Be about father's business. Amen. Since he was a little boy, he was already talking like that. Amen. So that's how we got to be. Well, we go approaching the father, do father's business, okay? Let's continue with this church note. You just don't know who you're connected to and what is possible out of what could just be random moments. They're not just random. God opens doors and God opens many portals. A door may change something in our life, but when God opens our doors, it changes everything. It changes our entire life, amen? When God opens a portal, it opens up another dimension. Who would we be if we treated every introduction as if there was a possibility of a portal? Not every portal means promotion. Sometimes there's portals that are on assignment to destroy you. That's why it wasn't just a heartbreak. It was a portal that gave you an awareness about darkness and destruction that you were never meant to have access to. There were some things you were exposed to that you weren't supposed to be exposed to. But because you were connected to somebody that you didn't realize was a portal in disguise, now you're dealing with their devils and demons. I got careful about who's in my circle when I realized I wasn't just fighting my depression, but I was also fighting their depression because I allowed you to be my portal. What do they get when they get you? Where are you taking them? Are you making them better or are you making them more ill? You do yourself a service when you make sure you're aware enough of what's going on in your spirit so that you're not preaching, teaching, pouring, parenting, loving, texting with people. Not realizing you're giving them access to a version of you that you don't even like, but misery loves company. And now we're sitting in torment together. When is the last time we took inventory of what is happening in our life and who is in our lives and asked ourselves, where are you taking me? Because your purpose only works in a certain dimension. Some of us fall for this belief that if I am anointed and I am anointed anywhere, but your anointing is assigned to a dimension. All right. All right. People got to be careful of, with who we keep in our circles. Okay. Got to be more aware and have discernment and discretion about that. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So let us let the, let's ask the Lord for more wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discernment, discretion, guidance about our everyday lives. Hallelujah. Got to keep God first in every area of our life. Amen. So that is a church note. All right. So what I'd love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord of hosts, y'all. Yes, the true creator, y'all. Yes, let him change your life, people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is the God of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. He's the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, most definitely the God of Israel. Hallelujah. Most definitely. His son is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate, the almighty true living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessing only potent, the blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door. The elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, 
the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the great I am, the I am who I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. Jehovah, he is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone. Yes, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is my portion, the Lord is my rock, the Lord is my strength, the Lord is my refuge, the Lord is my high tower, the Lord is my good fortress, the Lord is my strength, the Lord is my salvation, the Lord is my redeemer, the Lord is a sustainer, he is a sufficient one, he is my shield, he is my buckler, most definitely, he He holds it down for us, y'all, praise him, hallelujah, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, 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 Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehoshua, Yehushua, Yeshua, Ahai, Yeshaya. Yes, yes, most definitely El Shaddai, Adonai. Most definitely, he is the consuming fire. The father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, could heal all things. He is the carpenter, could fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rests on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree. Hallelujah. Most definitely, y'all. Call on him and he'll show you great, mighty things. Call on him and seek him with all your heart, people. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently, people. Come on. Must have seed faith. Must have seed faith, people. Come on. You got it. Most definitely. You trying to figure it out. And the Lord already got it, worked it out. Amen. The Lord already worked it out. Walk in it. Amen. Most definitely. He is the Lord, our righteousness. Most definitely. The Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness. Our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrected the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man. Son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah. The word of Elohim, the word of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of Yehoshua Yehoshua Yeshua. Most definitely, his word is purifying silver, just as David said in Psalms. His word is a double-edged sword, as the book of Hebrews says. And we know that every word of God is pure, as the book of Proverbs says. Amen. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes, his son is excellent for dying for our sins. His blood did clean up our mess. Amen. He is worthy. He is the worthy lamb, the risen lamb. Hallelujah. Praise him. He is risen, y'all. Very excellent. Yes, he is the seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, the seed of David, kingship, the seed of God, deity, the seed of Jacob, nationality, the seed of Judah, tribe, the seed of Shem, race, the seed of woman, prophecy. Amen. We touch and agree. In the authority and the power and name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new dreams, new visions, new insight, new experiences, new counters, new miracles, new signs, new wonders, new attitudes, new habits, new scenery, new movement. Yes, new adjustment, new transitions before the year is over and beyond. Hallelujah. Let the Lord move you and shift you like never before in Jesus' name. We touch and agree, y'all. Most definitely new healing, restoration, deliverance, all of that. Stability, firmness, all of that, people. Strength, more strength, double portion strength from now on. Amen. Yes, people. I pray to God that whoever listens this message, I pray that you become a new creature in Christ. You are born again of spirit and water. You get baptized. You repent. You turn from your ways. You turn from your filth. You turn from all your wrongdoing. Let go of that bitterness. Let go of that resentment. Let go of that unforgiveness. The, the Messiah said, if you don't forgive others, the Father will forgive you. So you better forgive everybody. Let it go. Let it go. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, y'all. So that's the word for today, all right? What I'd love to do as I close out is give y'all the priestly blessing on the way out. 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Kingston. Love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.